Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. I've uh, been hearing about this Obziva, ticker uh, OBSV, and then somebody uh, pointed out in the uh, comments and uh, wanted me to talk about it. So uh, here we are talking about Obziva, ticker OBSV. As you can see right now, it's trading at uh, $3.01. It's up over uh, 20% in the uh, last year. Uh, but the price has been, well, it's a pharmaceutical, so um, sometimes they're all over the place, unless you're looking at like a GlaxoSmithKline or a Pfizer or some of those that just don't move. <clears throat> but this one has been kind of up and down, uh, $2 a year ago, and then it ran up to uh, 6 15 over the summer, had a major drop off within... couple days almost a week and then just traded kind of flat on the way down and then it had a uh, run up again in uh, January and so it's kind of coming down here again but it's got great ratings on it so uh, one to consider and uh, see if anybody out there uh, has this one just to uh, bring it to your attention but again it's a uh, clinical stage biopharmaceutical and just be uh, careful with these because as you can see they're up and down up and down uh, which engages in the research and development of therapeutic treatments for women's reproductive health and pregnancy. It offers biopharmaceutical drugs addressing conditions compromising pregnancy from, from conception to birth. It's been around since uh, 2012 and kind of a small market cap, $258 million. And it's headquartered in uh, Geneva, Genevieve. And right now trading at uh, three dollars and two cents. Uh, this kind of gives a little bit more information about it. A Swiss-based specialty biopharmaceutical company dedicated to the de development of innovative drugs for women's reproductive medicine. Uh, main focus is on the therapies for for preterm labor. Was founded in uh, 2012. <clears throat> A specialist in female reproductive medicine uh, with uh, 20 years of experience in the biopharmaceutical industry and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself so kind of a small company revenue of uh, 16,000 in uh, 2019 um, but don't lose me yet they have some other information you'll want to see the ratings on it so uh, that's kind of what caught my eye, but uh, we analyzed the future direction of uh, Ziva. Uh, here's what we found. Uh, went up by 5.77% from the latest closing price compared to the recent one-year high of $6.30. The company's stock price has collected a negative 2.37% of loss in the last five trading sessions. Reported on 3529 that Abziva announces year end 2020 financial results and business update. <clears throat> A 36 month beta value on Abziva of 0.81. Opinions of the stock are interesting as four analysts out of six who provided ratings on Abziva declared the stock was a buy, while zero rated the stock as overweight one rated as a hold and one as a sell and this is just dated uh, today the 29th <clears throat> falls negative 3.03% uh, in recent session what things uh, you should need to know and again it's in the uh, biotech so uh, again uh, be careful of this one again I don't give tax legal or Trading advice, um, but a look at the uh, daily price movement shows that the last close reads three dollars and thirty cents, uh, with intraday deals fluctuated between three dollars and six and three dollars and thirty cents. The company's five-year monthly beta was uh, ticking point eight one, and so it has a 52-week high of 630, 52-week low of $1.86. The stock lost 17.74% of its value in the past month. 
This kind of goes over some uh, market uh, valuation of 189.89 million with its release in uh, May of 2021. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest of the uh, financials uh, there for yourself. Uh, back to uh, Reddit. Uh, this is a month ago, month ago. Nothing up to date here. Uh, stock twits currently showing it at uh, 301. I'm holding some positions purchased around 350 and willing to let this ride. And this is just dated today. Everybody, well, a couple people looks like they're uh, bullish on it. Uh, for day traders, this one ain't for you. Legit biotech, will, but will take time. Been in this one for over a year, but it's disappointing. But when it goes, go fast and hard. <laughs> that's what she said. But seriously, that's what she said. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I gotta love stock twits. All biotechs have. Well, why did this fall off a cliff? I'm almost under three. Gotta have some patience on this one. But look what tip rings has it set at. So, uh, again, it's at 302. Strong buy out of three analysts showing three at a buy. And projection of $16.67 up 451. We'll just call it 452%. The high is showing a 28 and with a low of 5, and it um, hasn't even hit the low. So, kind of crazy ratings. Um, so, I'm definitely going to put this one on my uh, watch list. Uh, but you can see, you can buy this one on uh, Robinhood. Uh, here's what it looks like over the uh, 3 month, 2 to 450, on up to 5, and then kind of coming down. And here's where everything fall off a cliff and it hasn't really recovered from then kind of went up and then went back down but and here's kind of what it's doing today so uh, definitely one to watch I thought the um, tip ranks had it um, I mean the ratings on it are uh, excellent but it might be a buy and hold for a while but I'm definitely gonna put this one on uh, my radar, if it hits the uh, three mark, I might uh, purchase some. Um, today's low of three, well, it did hit three dollars today. 52 week low of a dollar 86. So, eh, I might try a couple shares or put in an order for a three dollar buy. A limit order is what I usually do, and uh, try 10, 20 shares and see what it does. And, um, even if it went up to four dollars you'd make some money but uh, again this one is uh, biopharmaceuticals so be careful on this one they're all kind of up and down kind of uh, volatile a lot of the time but uh, just wanted to throw this one out there and thought it was kind of interesting and if you have this one uh, go ahead and put it in the comments along with your uh, cost basis and uh, if you have any other information in regards to this one it would be interesting to know um, Again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice, so you have to do your own due diligence. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me, as well as subscribing if you haven't already. And I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers here. We're almost there. And uh, hit the uh, bell so you're notified of when the uh, next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Forward Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.